All right, YouTube, it's going to be one of those videos again where I report from my car during one of my breaks because I've been I've been pretty busy lately with other stuff uh, over the course of the last like week, week and a half or so, hence why I haven't made as many videos within the last week or so. So to tide you guys over, I'm going to make a video while I can, but I'll be back to uploading in my regular format next week. I'll try, or at least try to anyway, while I'm at my apartment, or not in my car, but, so, this is the best it'll be for now, because, like I said, i just been really busy with other stuff, so I just figured I would tide you guys over and make a video while this topic is still fresh, and while I have some time at work on my break. It's a quiet day, it's the weekend, weekend shifts are pretty quiet, so... I have a lot of break time to do this, so I figured I'll do it now. What's up, everybody? It's Zach the Celtics guy here reporting to you from my car on my break at work, and I'm back with another video, and I wanted to come back and discuss an issue surrounding the, the disingenuous hack known as Dave Rubin, the Hunter Avalone of the right. Basically, another grifter, a political com, a failed political commentator that is basically one of the biggest fucking grifters on the internet. And yes, I'm talking about Mr. Rave Dubin. Rave Dubin has always made an ass of himself as far as politics go. But Dave Rubin has really taken his fucking stupidity to a whole new level. Dave Rubin literally compared the climate change activist Greta Thunberg, or at least I think that's how you pronounce her name, Greta Thunberg, to Adolf Hitler. Yes, a young lady from Sweden who is advocating because, you know, God forbid she actually gives a shit about the environment, a climate change awareness activist, more or less, and an environmentalist, essentially. She's not like an environmentalist as far as her occupation goes, but she makes climate change a, a concern, meaning that she is concerned about it, and rightfully so. Because, yes, we know that fucking Rave Dubin's far-right audience and most fucking right-wingers in general deny the fact that climate change exists and it's actually destroying our planet. So, yes... Fucking Rave Dubin literally compared her to fucking Hitler. And I have a link in the description and a video within that article that shows him literally saying it and using her and Hitler in the same sentence. So yes, we all know that Dave Rubin is a fucking idiot. We all know he's a fucking grifter. We all know that he is a right-wing grifter. And he's fucking team Republican after being team liberal, team Democrat all these years. But now he has literally gone to the extreme to make fucking stupid right wing disingenuous arguments like this. And yes, this is even stupid for Rave Dubin because Rave Dubin to compare a climate to compare a climate change activist, a climate change concern activist essentially or an environmentalist whatever you want to call her to compare her to fucking Adolf Hitler like it makes my fucking brain want to explode from stupidity and yes it's not a surprise that the yes we should not be surprised by such stupidity but this is a fucking stupid thing even for Rave Dubin even for Dave Rubin we call him Rave Dubin you know People like Secular Talks host Kyle Kalinske calls him Rave Dubin. He's made videos calling him out on this bullshit. So I have another left-wing commentators. But this, but this guy is a fucking moron. Yeah, we shouldn't be surprised by such deeds. But we have, but this is a new low even for Rave Dubin. So yeah, he literally has made this argument. Literally has literally called a young lady who is who is advocating for the environment being like fucking Hitler. So yes. Dave Rubin, we all know, he basically runs away from left-wing commentators, but he'll invite fucking right-wingers on his show like no problem. That's how you know that he is a fucking grifter. 
because we all know he's he hides from Sam Cedar. We all know he hides from all these other left left wing commentators like David Pakman and other progressives. We all know he hides from them. Why does he hide from them? Because they call him out on his bullshit and Rave Dubin is too triggered. Dave Rubin is too triggered to have a conversation with these people because God forbid they say mean words about him. He's basically a right-wing SJW. He sits there and he calls out SJWs all fucking day, but there he is acting like an SJW all day. He, this is a man who invites right-wing corrupt assholes on his show like fucking Ben Shapiro and Glenn Beck and other fucking morons like that, Larry Elder. Oh yeah, Larry Elder, the fucking, uh, uh, the fucking right-wing neocon corrupt asshole who kisses Republicans' asses day in and day out, cheering fucking rah-rah Trump, rah-rah George W. Bush, fucking sucking off politicians on the right all day, every single motherfucking day. Yeah, that's Larry Elder, and that's Rave Dubin, and that's what fucking Rave Dubin is doing. So yes, someone like him to make these comments, yeah, it probably shouldn't surprise a lot of people because of how fucking stupid Dave Rubin is, but... Here's the, but here's the double-edged sword. It's so stupid that it's stupid even for him. I could see him maybe calling her a bunch of fucking stupid names and all that. But to say that she is like Adolf Hitler, it, it like it fucking pains me. The stupidity, the just the fucking sheer stupidity. And it's funny. You would think that he would compare her to some like communist or something. But to say that she's, but to compare her to a fucking Nazi. Oh, really? That's pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> that's pretty fucking stupid. And that's retarded. That is fucking retarded. Even for Rave Dubin, that is fucking retarded. To say that... To, to, okay, to literally call out someone who's literally advocating for a better environment for our world. Literally doing the opposite of what Adolf Hitler did. Oh, what did Adolf Hitler do? Hmm, what did he do? Hmm, oh yeah, that's right. The Holocaust, a genocide. What is Greta Thunberg doing? Uh, she's advocating uh, for a better environment, advocating against climate change and all that other shit. So a climate change activist calling out bullshit like this is like Adolf Hitler. Yeah, that's exactly what she is. She's like fucking Adolf Hitler. Now, God forbid, if you compared some fucking fascist politician to Hitler, what do you think Rave Dubin's response would be? Rave Dubin's response would be, oh, you're an SJW. You're a this, you're a that. You're a fucking liberal. You're a libtard. You're a commie. You're a this, you're a beep, 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 beep. That's what you are, motherfucker. No, fuck you. That's what you are, Rave Dubin. You are a fucking hack. You are a fucking goddamn hack, and you're one of the worst hacks I've ever seen. This is a fucking low for Rave Dubin because, like I said, he he does he accuse he he is everything he accuses the left of being. He claims to be in he claims to be he was a so-called liberal at one point when he was on the Young Turks. Bef at one point, okay, he left for better opportunities. Okay, fine. But then all of a sudden he went from liberal to libertarian and now and also being an atheist and having like and having like liberals and atheists on his show like Sam Sam Harris, for example. And by the way, Sam Harris doesn't even fucking talk to Dave Rubin because of how fucking stupid he is. You know, he doesn't even have Joe Rogan doesn't even talk to him because Joe Rogan is literally said at one point, yeah, if, if you're a fucking hack, if you're like this, if you don't believe in anything, I'm not going to have you on my show. He literally said that he didn't mention Dave Rubin by name, but you know he was hinting at, at people like Dave Rubin. So yes, this is is so fucking stupid. Now, God forbid if you compare Jair Bolsonaro to Hitler, or Trump to Hitler, or something like that, Dave Rubin would be fucking screaming, you're a, you're a, he'd be fucking screaming and hollering and bitching and moaning and whining all fucking day long about how this one is a libtard and SJW, all this and that, but God forbid, he can go and accuse someone on the left of him of being like Hitler. And yet, He's not an SJW, right? He's not being a little triggered fucking snowflake. Oh, by the way, he has a triggered snowflake. There's a reason why he won't have Sam Cedar on his show. Because Sam Cedar has made him a fucking punching bag. 
he won't have David Pakman on his show because David Pakman embarrassed the shit out of him when asking him a question about health care and Dave Rubin couldn't even give a straight fucking answer about health care. Now, I, I, there are certain progressives even I don't agree with, for example, but for, but, for example, but besides the point, he won't talk to them in his so-called battle of ideas in his battle of ideas, he'll talk to all these fucking morons. He'll talk to the fucking dumbest people on the planet, like fucking Glenn Beck, who is li who is literally like he. Oh my God, fucking Glenn Beck! I swear to God, like a fucking mentally handicapped fucking elf is what Glenn Beck is. He'll have people like that on his show. He will. He'll have fucking dumbasses like Larry Elder on his show, literally fucking one of the biggest Republican dick suckers ever. He's, he's literally, he's, a, I swear, like, Larry Elder is like, I, I, I can't, with, 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 I cannot with that fucking idiot, I swear to fuck to God. He, I can't, I, he's like, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I can't with that motherfucker. He's like, I, I don't even know. I, I have, there are no words to describe how fucking stupid Larry Elder is and how stupid these fucking people are. They are fucking so stupid, it's not even funny. This is like, really, like Hitler. Get the fuck out of here. So you'll have all these people on your show. You'll have all these people on your show, but you'll have fucking Larry Elder. You'll literally have Bill Cosby's mentally handicapped cousin from another mother on your fucking show, but you won't have, but you won't have people like Sam Cedar or these others on your fucking show, and yes, I literally, comp yes, I literally said that about Larry Elder, okay, yeah, I did, and by the way, you want to sit there and call me racist or whatever, because I'm saying, he's like Bill Cosby, mentally handicapped fucking cousin, I don't give a shit, because I'm not picking on him, I'm not saying that, oh, because he's black or whatever, no, that's not what I'm fucking doing, I'm saying that because he's a fucking moron, and he's literally, He's literally like he's literally like that. It's it, it, in the, in the God's honest truth. That's what he fucking is. I'm not saying he's like Bill Cosby, but you get the fucking point. The point is he's a moron, and Dave Rubin is a fucking moron, and so isn't anybody, and so isn't anybody that believes even a shred of what he says, even a shred of what he says. He's a fucking moron, just just an absolute fucking moron, and, and it's pathetic for him to even make such an argument. Like, like, dude, like, like you're fucking pushing the limits of stupidity. Like, here's stupidity, and then here's your fucking dumbass. You're up here, so you'll have Janine Pirro. Oh yeah, Janine Pirro. Uh, Ilhan Omar isn't uh, doesn't deserve to be in the Senate because she wears a hijab. Will make bigoted comments like that but we'll sit back and call others bigots. So you'll sit there, you'll have people like that on the show, right? You'll sit there and have people like that on the show, right? But you won't have actual people. Now, whether or not you agree with their policies or their politics or whatever, if you want to talk about the so-called battle of ideas, right? You want to talk about battle of ideas, you won't, you won't have an actual battle of ideas unless it's people that agree with your fucking narrative. That's what Dave Rubin believes in. Yeah, and God forbid if you called out someone like Jer Bolsonaro. Oh, yeah, by the way, Dave Rubin is fucking simping for Jer Bolsonaro. And by the way, Dave Rubin is also gay as well. But yet he'll talk to fucking blazing homophobes like like Ben Shapiro and Glenn Beck and Denise D'Souza and all these other fucking scumbags. He literally said, and, I, and I'm not even kidding. I wish I was joking. He literally praised Jair Bolsonaro over liberal politicians in Latin America and in Brazil because he, God forbid, is against SJWs and so on and so forth. So that's, okay, so, so Jair Bolsonaro, the same guy that would deny your right to live in peace and freedom, Rave Dubin, and me and, other, and others in the LGBT community. Because Jair Bolsonaro is, a, is an extreme right-wing homophobe and a bigot and a tyrant and an authoritarian. He is a fucking fascist. And he's literally like Hitler in the making. Jair Bolsonaro, who you were fucking simping over because he's against SJWs and Marxism and all this other bullshit. He's more like fucking Hitler than fucking Greta Thunberg is. Oh yeah, by the way, Jair Bolsonaro is destroying the planet as we speak and threatening peace and stability. Well, Greta Thunberg is actually 
saving the planet and doing the opposite of what fucking Hitler did. And Jair Bolsonaro, the same guy who thinks, yeah, gay people shouldn't be allowed to marry. Gay people shouldn't be allowed to have kids. Gay people shouldn't be allowed to live in peace and freedom and whatnot. And he's a fucking blazing homophobe. And he admits he's a fucking homophobe and a fascist and a tyrant. But you simp over him all fucking day. You'll look at these people. So no, Rave Dubin, Greta Thunberg is significantly more intelligent than you'll ever be. You're not intelligent. You are a stupid person. You are a stupid, unintelligent hack and a moron. You're an idiot and you are not a smart person. You are not a serious person. And this is why, Dave Rubin, this is why people with a brain do not take you seriously. This is why Larry King answered the fucking phone while, while you were having an, a live interview with him. That's how much respect you get and you deserve. To get respect, you gotta earn respect. And what did you do? You made an ass of yourself in front of everyone. You do it on a daily basis. And now the shit's flying back at you. That's what happened with Larry King. That's what happened with Joe Rogan. That's what happened with Sam Cedar. This is what happened with David Pakman. This is what happened with all these other people. Dave Rubin continues to make an ass of himself. And just when you think he can't get any dumber, he somehow manages. But I urge other people to call him out. I'm going to call him out. I'm going to also call fucking Dave Dubin out on this channel. I'm going to make sure of it. I follow Secular Talk. I follow several progressive channels. I don't identify as a progressive per se. I'm more center left, but I agree with them on most issues. Not everything, but most issues. And I support what they're doing by exposing this guy for the fucking fraud that he is. Because he is. If Dave Rubin could make more money and more views to be a leftist, he would do it. Just like what fucking Hunter Avalon is doing. Hunter Avalon's doing the same thing. He was a right winger and now he somehow is like a fucking bleeding hard liberal now because he's a grifter Dave Rubin is no different than Hunter Avalon it's just a different political icon if you're a grifter if you don't actually believe in anything you don't deserve respect and you don't deserve to be taken seriously and this is why Dave Rubin as a YouTuber and as a commentator is not taken seriously seriously so that's about it for today i'm gonna wrap it up here i'm gonna head back into work now um i'm gonna head back into work i'm probably off my break pretty soon but thank you all for listening uh comment subscribe let me know what you think i'll be back with more videos soon and a whole bunch of other stuff in the work stay tuned to find out more and more videos on the way and i'll be back uploading more in my apartment uh going forward at least next several videos i'll try to upload more while i'm while i'm at home it's just i've been busy lately so i'm like a lot of times I'll like record videos while I'm out and about so I can tide you guys over so that way I'm not leaving anyone in the loop. So I just wanted to record that today and tide you guys over with this video today. I'll be back with more videos, more content. This is Zach the Celtics guy saying thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Peace out and have a good day. See you later.